All right, babe, welcome back. Let's get into today's pep talk. We are talking about comparison. We already know that comparison is the thief of joy, right? The more you compare yourself to other people, the less energy you have for yourself, for your own journey, the less energy you are going to have to pour into yourself, to pour into your kids, to pour into your work, to pour into your passions, to give yourself in any way, shape or form. You are literally siphoning your own energy and giving your power away. You are taking from yourself. It's self-harm. Comparison is self-harm, straight up. It is so easy to get caught up in other people's highlight reels, but the truth is nobody has it all figured out, and comparing your behind the scenes to someone else's polished shit is literally self-harm. Comparison blocks your creativity. It blocks your personal growth. Like I said, it steals your energy. It takes your power out of your hands and gives it to somebody else who may or may not even know you exist. And when you're focusing on someone else's path, you completely lose sight of your own. Everyone's journey is unique. This is what I've learned, I would say, in the past year. My journey, my growth, the pace that I'm at is unique. And I don't want to just accept it. I want to own it. There are so many times where I've thought, wow, she started her business at the same time that I did. And look how much more money she's made. Look how much more she's accomplished. Look how much more well-known she is. Look how many followers she has compared to me. And it's such bullshit. I just don't do it anymore. I just will not do it. Instead, I truly, truly, truly look at other people like that with admiration and respect and excitement because it's like I'm coming up too. I'm also on my way to that and beyond, not in a sense of I'm going to beat her and I'm going to win, but like we're all rising up together. And if she can do it, then I definitely can truly. I know it's so cheesy and cliche, but I truly am shifting into that. I feel like I, I have shifted into that. I, I love my journey. I own my pace. I own my journey. I own my process. I own my story. I am proud of it. Mistakes and all. You know how many times I have massively fucked up, but th those are my fuck ups. Those are my mistakes. This is my life and I own all of it. I'm not going to be ashamed of it. I've worked through it. I've become better. You know, we apologize when we need to apologize. We grow where we need to grow. We look at ourselves where we need to look at ourselves and we adjust and we adapt and we move forward. And I own all of that. I want you to start owning all of it. The next time you catch yourself comparing, pause, take your power back, flip the focus back onto you, your own goals, what you can control, which is you. Stop looking at other people and wishing, hoping, oh, I'm jealous. I want it that, no. Stop letting comparison steal your energy from you. Your journey is your own and no one else's timeline, no one else's opinion, no one else's journey has anything to do with that. So we're going to stop comparing. We're going to start getting inspired instead. Whenever we feel a, a tinge of jealousy, we're going to see it as our biggest flag that that is something there is something about this person or their life that we want and feel like we can't have. And that is a lie. If we desire it, it's already ours and we're going to bring it into this reality. We're shifting the way we view people. We're shifting the way we view ourselves and we are no longer letting our energy get stolen by compare, comparing to other people. We are no longer giving up our power, our energy, or our joy to comparison. So every time you catch yourself, stop and flip the script.